Wolfie checked in with Ed for an update, and Ass Napkin continues to deal with ass, it, ass, <laughs> ass, ass issues. Ed, what's going on with you medically? Um, medically, I have pinworms from taking a bath after somebody and using their towel. That's how I think I, how I, how I acquired it. And what are pinworms? Pinworms are worms in your asshole that the mother lays eggs in your asshole during while you're sleeping. When you wake up, your hole is extremely itchy. So I go in there with my toothbrush and start itching at it. What was the first sign that you thought you had pinworms? I thought they were maggots at first. So initially, are you saying that it looked like you had maggots falling out of your asshole? Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't, I don't think they're maggots because maggots turn into flies. <laughs> what a relief. Wow. Oh, good. Imagine they're like flies living in his asshole. You know. Well, something's living in there. Little kids get pinworms, not adults. No. You know. And he takes a toothbrush. And scratches yeah. his ass. <laughs> I know that. I heard that. <laughs> oh, wow. And the girls are blowing him. Boy, oh boy. I don't want to go wherever he is. That's a world that I don't want to be in. I told Wolfie, too, he also believes he might have gotten pinworms by eating bad steak. Which... Well, he make, make up your mind. Either you took a bath after somebody and it was their towel. Or it was bad steak. Which was wouldn't you? And wouldn't you be? How bad could a steak be? And, and you yeah, ate like, it like that? Like, was it still alive? <laughs> what? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, if you had fucking worms and maggots in your asshole, wouldn't you just like go to a doctor immediately and get that taken care of? You know, that might just be the end of me. I'm like, you know, I'm, life isn't working out. <laughs> Imagine flies living in your asshole. <laughs> If I'm a home for flies, I don't want to be here. So Ed tells Wolf he's planning to move to Florida. So then we saw this as an opportunity to prank Ed. We put him on the phone with a uh, prospective roommate. Wolfie tells him, we know a guy who might want a roommate with you. Okay. We, his name is Ass Napkin Chris. And you know Chris, <laughs> of course. Chris Wilding works on our show. So Ass Napkin Chris. And Chris does a dead on. Uh, ask Napkin Ed impression. And Chris and Ed sound exactly the same. And I don't even understand how Ask Napkin doesn't even go, hey, dude, you sound like me. And you, you know, not, right. they, they just immediately bond over their ass worm issues. Just listen to this. This is the greatest. Here's Ask Napkin Chris on with Ask Napkin Ed. You ever get <laughs> uh, worms? I got them in my asshole. Oh my God. Me too. I have. I took some medicine for it. It's called Reese's, not the not the candy. Well, I use uh, Hershey's, like the actual candy bar, and I use it to lure out the worms from my asshole. You could do that. You can actually do that. God, yeah, mine would come out a foot long. Damn. So I would just sit over the dock of the bay in Florida. I'd go fishing, you know. That's. <laughs> I'd catch all sorts of shit. Damn. Now, these two guys started a bond. And Ass Napkin got really excited because he finally found his soulmate in Florida. Uh, you want to hear some more of their conversation? Sure. It's pretty funny. Okay. I thought it was pretty funny. He takes his worms and he catches fish. <laughs> yeah. He hangs them out of his asshole. <laughs> so Ass Napkin Chris... He convinced Ed that even Ass Napkin Chris has the same worm problem, but he his worm problem is even worse than Ass Napkin. Okay, is. all right. You ever like uh, put your phone? Yeah. Like, take a picture. I tried it, but I no. Can't. I mean, like, you ever put your phone up to your ass, like, okay. like to see if you can hear them? No. Like, hang on, I'll do it now. You hear that? Yeah. You hear that? Yeah, I do. You hear that, man? Yeah, what, what is this? I, I think it's the worms. Damn, you got them worse than me. I'm going to put, a, a, like, a grape up to my ass. What? I think they're going to eat it. Damn. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Fucker's gone. <laughs> huh. Oh, grape is gone. Yours is more like a, a tapeworm or a snake or Yeah, they're long, angry fuckers, too. What was it, like a piece of spaghetti? Yeah. 
Sounds like a Raymond noodle or something. Yeah. Raymond noodle. A Raymond noodle. <laughs> <laughs> that tapeworm's no. That's that's no ass worm. That's like a Raymond. Isn't it? He, that sounds like a worm with a name. <laughs> that sounds like a pet. <laughs> Don't you think if you were looking at prospective roommates and you heard a worms eating inside your asshole that it might taking be a nice grape and look. eating it? Yeah. yeah maybe you don't, you know. <laughs> Oh, shit, the grape is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it takes a lot to impress Ass Napkin Ed about worms. But not in a bad you. way. He's like, wow, yours are worse than mine. <laughs> Holy shit, sounds like you've got a boa constrictor up there. <laughs>